Konnichiwa! Hi there! My name is Toby and this is our qualification video for Robocup at Home 2017. We are the Arti Lions, Reutlingen University's Robocup team. So this is our robot. So what's your name? Hello, my name is Leonie. Oh, Leonie! Can you tell us something about the team? We are German Robocop team and want to participate in Robocop at Home 2017 in Japan. Our team consists of estimated 15 people, including students from various countries and faculties. Thank you for your introduction. You are welcome, Toby. Since our head, Professor Dr. Matthias Resch, has done most of his research in image processing, we put a lot of effort in the topic. Starting from the most simple applications using external libraries or external devices, we managed to maximize our efficiency by using cheap hardware but better software for the best results. The recent progress was mainly achieved by using machine learning, for example, convolutional neural networks. Without further ado, Let's take a look at the Leap Motion module. So in this picture you can see how the Leap Motion is mounted on Leonie. We also used the Leap Motion in our previous competition in Praganza 2016. If think your name is Michelle, is that right? Yes, you're right. A B C. As you can see, we are able to detect the com complete finger alphabet only by using hand gestures, which is a pretty nice feature for people who are disabled in any way in their communication. So as you could see, it was already possible for us to recognize hand gestures and even the finger alphabet by using a leap motion. But that's not the only thing a leap motion can do. Based on a leap motion project, we try to improve the application. While searching for a more reliable way, we came across convolutional neural networks. Using the new software with a webcam, we achieved even better results by using cheaper hardware. As you can see, the CNN solves exactly the same task as the leap motion did, but with much higher precision. Also, we included a module that can recognize thumbs up and thumbs down. Also part of our detection module is the crowd detection. This program can detect the number and the gender of the people in its view. Or, in other words, it's the perfect tool for the speech and person recognition challenge. If you look closely at the left hand corner, you can see a red square on the poster. But can you see the person? So the conclusion is that this program is already better than the human eye. Up next is the active closer inspection module which is used for detecting and following a specific person in Leonie's field of view. Due to the fact that RCE is one of our main research projects, we put a lot of emphasis in the team description paper. In this video you can see what ACI can do. So this module consists of two cameras, one fisheye camera and one zoom camera mounted on a PTU, a so-called pan-tilt unit. The fisheye camera is searching the room for people and the zoom camera tracks it with help of the PTU. Combining some of the previous features, Follow Me is the most versatile module of Leonie. With this, Leonie can recognize and memorize a person in her field of view and track this person at a maximum speed of 1.4 meter per second.
as shown in the next video. Follow me is not, not only able to track a single person, but also it is able to distinguish it from other people around in its view. Now we will show you some snippets of how we will solve the speech and person recognition challenge. Look at me, Leonie. No, Leonie, look at me. Okay, now we are going to have a conversation with Leonie with different types of questions. Uh, some intellectual questions and some riddle questions. And let's see it being checked out. <laughs> okay, let's see how it goes. What day is it today? I think the answer is Friday, March 10th, 2017. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> when was Albert Einstein born? I think the answer is Friday, March 14th, 1879. Okay. Very good, very good. Very impressive. So for the pick and place challenges, we bought a new Sawyer robot. But he still has to learn a lot of things. So this is our new team member Leonard. Leonard, can you introduce yourself? Leonard, please introduce yourself. Leonard, what are you doing? Leonard! <laughs> 